hello friends so in this video we will uh, see how to make a uh, polystry project which is data structure project using lru catch so what is the polystry so in polystry we uh, we, uh, we can also see in our mobiles where uh, calls are uh, sorted according to uh, least recently used so lru catch is, uh, full form of lru catch is same least recently used so here we are using two data structure q and h so now let's see how to implement this project uh, i have put a uh, uh, video link regarding to, to lru catch in the description box if you want to learn about that you can uh, go there and uh, see the video so uh, first uh, let's see uh, what are the uh, here structure we have implemented here so first is a q node uh, which is storing the mobile number in the data data uh, of uh, data of login and uh, here the next and previous uh, uh, here we are using q in form of double uh, english and uh, after that uh, uh, this is the these are the uh, means the data type for this uh, uh, q node for the q so uh, here in q we are using the count variable which is storing uh, total number of uh, mobile number uh, which is uh, stored currently then the total space means how how many numbers can be can maximum maximum we can store and the, then the front and rear these two variable uh, which you already know about that front and rear in q and then uh, this has data structure where we are using this capacity which is a maximum uh, number of uh, number we can store in the has and this array so array stores the uh, uh, numbers which are currently in the queue so this this is the head so now let's see from the main method so here in main method you can see we first we have created a queue here for the for maximum for mobile number so let's see create queue method so here you can see this is the create queue method uh, where we have taking the number of mobile numbers and then here uh, assign the uh, memory location for the queue uh, and then we are we giving the count currently as a zero in total initially there is no mobile number store and uh, front and rear initially null you can you already know about queue and then queue uh, the total number space is equal to number of mobile uh, maximum number of mobile numbers we have already uh, we get from parameter and here we returning the queue so this is the create queue method and after that this is the has method uh, sorry here maximum four different number so here we are taking uh, creating the has so you can uh, if we come here create has method so this is create has method here we are giving the capacity then uh, giving the memory location to the hash and then giving capacity assign the capacity and assign, assigning the initially array and uh, the, the initially all arrays uh, or, or uh, all array variables are uh, null and here you will be returning the hash so these are two functions are simple uh, easy to understand and after that now let's start lo locating our mobile number uh, like uh, you uh, you can see that uh, you can uh, assume that uh, the, these numbers are in sequence are coming to our mobile number so let's uh, see how uh, what is uh, what, what this locate number uh, is uh, doing so uh, now let's see what this uh, locate num uh, function is doing so here we come to locate num this function here we passing the queue then our hash and the uh, mobile number the least recently used mobile number here we are passing so here first uh, we check in hash that uh, this number is currently present already in queue or not so let's see what this check in hash is doing so this check in hash uh, so here we are iterating for the all capacity uh, entire capacity of hash and uh, if checking that uh, the, this particular hash of uh, array is not equal to null so if we are not passing this uh, condition here then it is giving the uh, error here 
so after that if not null then we are comparing the mobile number with our current mobile number which we have passed into parameter and if uh, already there then we are returning this uh, this uh, uh, this object array has of array array is uh, uh, this array has of array is array of a q node you can see from here q node array so we are returning the object q node here or uh, where the number is stored and then we if here we are checking that if number is not or not in the hash then we are in queue means the entering this number into uh, our queue uh, else else condition we see later so first say what if number is new in the queue so here we come to in queue function so in queue function the queue has and mobile number is passed so now we check uh, if uh, if all uh, means uh, if uh, entire queue is full or not so here the is all of friend function so uh, this is is all uh, frame function so here we comparing only uh, current queue count and the total number of spaces if both are same then uh, this all uh, frames of queue are full so now let's come to here and here we removing the uh, the last last uh, uh, last uh, mobile number from the queue so here delete from the delete from hash and then delete from the queue so here we are passing this uh, mobile number queue of the year of mobile number which is the last mobile number uh, from the queue so here we are deleting uh, using this queue, delete from hash method so this is delete from hash method it is comparing here and if number found then it uh, assigned it is equal to null and then return this is simple function and uh, after that uh, uh, we are decaying the queue so the queue function is here if uh, if uh, queue is uh, empty then this, there is no meaning of the queue if uh, front is equal to rear means only one variable uh, only one number in queue then we assign the front is equal to null and now we are uh, taking the temp variable and in temp we are uh, taking the rear rear object uh, the last mobile number object of q and then uh, here q of rear is equal to q of rear of previous means the previous from the last mobile number and uh, if q of rear uh, then we uh, we means that this is if this is not null then we are passing the q of rear of means our uh, this uh, updated uh, rear uh, next of updated rear is equal to null uh, then we are free over this temp variable and uh, count uh, we are decrement the count of q so this is simple function of dq and uh, then uh, if this is for the if all uh, the entire q is full so we are first deleting the last mobile number and now we, we need to push the our current mobile number into the our q so here we are creating the new uh, new node new q node so the function of new queue node is here. This we are assigning the memory location for the queue node. Then we are passing this uh, parameter mobile number to this temp mobile number, and then uh, the temp of previous or temp of next is equal to null. Here we are this mobile number previous and next is null currently, and we are returning our object here. So now let's come to our uh, function. So uh, here uh, we are checking if q is empty uh, if q is empty then q of rear is equal to q of front is equal to 10 means only one object in this particular q now and we are assigning that our current uh, mobile number object to that if not means the q is not empty then now we are uh, passing this uh, this uh, temp variable to the front of the, <coughs> the first object as a queue so here we are passing queue of front of previous mean the uh, current our current of uh, we are passing uh, this current our temp as a previous of the current front so now we are passing temp as a current uh, front previous and after that uh, we are assigning the queue of front is equal to 10 so now 
the same our new uh, means the uh, list and use this mobile number is now on the front of the uh, queue so now let's insert this uh, mo this this current mobile number object into the our head so insert into head so here uh, we are checking uh, where the array of uh, hash of array is equal to null and there we are assigning the temp uh, you, if you have consideration that uh, this uh, if pointer hash is full then what uh, because here we are already checking that if uh, q is full or not then uh, there is one variable is uh, al always empty here if for this when we are calling this function and uh, then we are incrementing our q variable here so now let's uh, come to our main object locate now so here we see uh, this required this uh, this required number uh, is null means the uh, uh, this number is new in the queue then we are in queue this number into the queue now we are uh, checking that if this, this number already present in the queue means the this number is already present in call history then we need to push this number in the front of the queue so we are checking that if uh, this is not, not already present in front means if this is number this number is already present in front then there is no change needed so now we are uh, here we are uh, putting this condition here so here the condition is uh, required over this uh, requested number for required requested number uh, so here we are getting the the uh, reference of the our uh, uh, object from the queue so this required number is already present in the this queue so we are now we are checking the required number of previous means the uh, previous of uh, uh, the object of previous from the required number and the next of the, that particular object is equal to required number next and uh, if required number next if required number next is present means that uh, required, our required number is not at the last of the our queue then we are passing the uh, next uh, next of required number and the previous of that next is equal to required number previous so basically we are uh, relating this number uh, required number from the queue so you can uh, assuming like that like, like we need to remove this two so we are putting the ones uh, required numbers uh, previous of next is equal to required number next so basically we are delayed we are putting uh, once uh, next is equal to 3 and required num if required number is not uh, last then we are putting the required number next of previous is equal to uh, required number previous so the previous of this 3 is equal to 1 so now the queue like this and we are deleting 2 from here now we are checking if required number is equal to uh, last of the queue or not if last of the uh, queue then we are uh, passing the queue of rear is equal to require uh, require uh, this requested number uh, previous because we are if if like uh, uh, we need to delete this three then now current current uh, now updated rear is this two so here we are passing the required number, uh, requested numbers previous, and we are uh, uh, putting here uh, Q of rear of next is equal to none. So basically we are uh, because now this two is the, at the rear, so we need to put the the next of this two is equal to none. So now uh, let's. Uh, making the required number next is equal to queue of front so now we are putting this uh, require, requested number into the front of the queue and requested number of previous means the previous of the one uh, uh, last recently is number is equal to null because it is at the front of front of the queue and here we requested number next of the previous so like if two is here then the next required requested numbers uh, next of previous means the once previous is equal to requested number so uh, this condition is like this and here we are passing the queue of front uh, means the when the front of the queue is equal to our requested number so this is the function uh, locate num i hope you can understand this now let's print our let's print every time 
what is happening in the queue so let's run so you can see for this number mobile number first the queue is only storing this after that for this 9898 9898 at the front then then this 92655 is at the front then this this number for uh, this number uh, like uh, for this 990 uh, so this 990 is now repeating so this uh, 990 number is now at the front so we are deleting this 990 from here and putting in the front after that for this 8200 number we are putting in the front of the array now our capacity our queue is full now if any new number is coming then this uh, this new uh, because we are deleting now we are deleting the last number and putting this new number into front of the queue so this is our project i hope you can understand uh, this project so please subscribe our video if you like this and uh, i i know that you are watching this video and not subscribing our channel but please subscribe for our motivation thank you